Zoom In is sponsored by Google Pixel as we take a closer look at Lindsay Horan, visibly frustrated with her Leon teammate and close friend Danielle Levandadon for a rough tackle that was not called. Moments later, Horan getting her revenge. The U.S. and the Netherlands finish 1-1. And this is the fan party reaction to Horan's goal in Kansas City. Jenny Taft caught up with the U.S. co-captain after the match. First of all, congratulations. I got to first start with the goal and really what led up to it. You and Vandedonk had a moment on the field and you responded in the best way possible. Take me through the header. Yeah, honestly, me and uh, me and Dan always go up against each other. It's a physical battle. Um, I respect her so much because that's that's how it should be. It should be competitive at all times. So I think once uh, we got into that tackle, all I wanted to do was score. Uh, heat of the moment, I got a little pissed at her, but uh, Rose put in an absolute time, and I got on the end of it, and, yeah, happy happy for the goal. Going down at a World Cup is not a familiar place for this team. How pleased were you with the response in the second half? Yeah, it was it was unbelievable. I felt, I felt the momentum the whole time. I think the first half, we can be a little disappointed in how we played, but I think we fixed things right away, the pressure that we got on and the amount of chances and opportunities that came from it. So proud of the team and their response. What was the biggest takeaway for you in the in the way this one ended? Obviously, you guys want to win, but you take the point today in the tie. Yeah, again, it's against uh, against a really good opponent, a uh, very competitive team, you know, one that we saw last World Cup do such good things. So I think for us, it's going down a goal and, and coming up and, and getting able to tie. And and again, the, the chances we got on goal, we got to finish a few of those, but uh, we keep moving forward. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you. The U.S. women dropped the Netherlands in 2019 to lift the Women's World Cup trophy. Today, they share the points. Full match highlights and reaction from U.S. head coach Vlatko Andonovsky on the backside. Sydney is where all 32 teams would love to conclude this Women's World Cup because this city is hosting the August 20th final. Two teams with title aspirations met in Wellington, New Zealand earlier today. The U.S. and the Dutch. Playing to a 1-1 draw in a rematch of that 2019 final. Lindsey Horan getting the U.S. goal to level things up in the second half. After the game, our Jenny Taft caught up with Trinity Rodman. Well, Trinity, congrats on your second World Cup start tonight. Take me through the second half and what adjustments were made to shift the momentum in your favor. Yeah, I think our positioning was a lot better. We were more attack-minded. Um, in the first half, I think we were a little bit more conservative in our movements and the way that we were playing. I think we were looking for the layoff and like kind of turning, swinging it back and forth rather than kind of just going after them. And I think the second half, I mean, you notice there was a lot more flicks in behind. There was more turns. There was more combination between me, Alex, Lindsay, Soph. Um, so I think the connection was a lot better going forward rather than kind of just possessing. What was said at the break specifically from Vlatko about what he wanted to see differently? <laughs> Basically that, I think um, he knew that that first half, again, wasn't what we should have come out with, and we knew that we would have performed better. So it was just kind of like going at them and knowing what we could do. Um, we need to be higher on um, their backs. I think the separation between the forward line and our back line was a little too spread out. So I think that connection of just like pushing up, getting on their backs and winning first and second balls helped a lot in transition. How has this experience been for you so far, taking it in? A whirlwind? I mean, what's the experience been like? Uh, it's been amazing, yeah. That's a great word to describe it. Um, obviously, ups and downs, highs and lows, but I mean, again, this team wants it so bad, and I think outside noise can be very loud. So I think staying within the team and kind of just working to be better with the good and bad performances. Lastly, Lindsay Horan, obviously with the equalizer, how special is it to play alongside of a player like her? Yeah, she's amazing. I think a great captain and... I mean, she wanted it so bad. I think you could tell. <laughs> she gets fouled, a little bit of trash talk, and then she scores. So I think she was amped, and that, that energy spread so much to the entire team. So she's great to have on the field um, and also just, like, leading us and kind of giving us advice. So it's been good. Thanks, Trent. Yeah, thank you. Jenny, great work. Thank you. The U.S. will close out the group stage against Portugal on Tuesday live here on Fox. The Americans, they only need a draw to advance but they might need a multi-goal win to top the group. Last time the U.S. and Portugal met, it was an Olympic tune-up game in Houston back in 2021. A 1-0 win for the U.S. And Lex, 
The ghosts of gold differential are floating in the air at another World Cup. Yeah, take, take us back to the game against Vietnam. We were talking about, hey, gold differential could decide this group. And while nothing's easy, there's an easier pathway. And even for the U.S., the defending champions, they want to assure themselves the easiest pathway. And so not beating the Netherlands today, that poses a problem because are you confident that the Netherlands aren't going to beat up on, the, on, the, on Vietnam and score a bunch of goals? Because keep in mind, the U.S. only scored three against uh, Vietnam. So it's going to be really interesting, ultimately, if the U.S. still are able to win, but relative to goal differential, they don't move and on. And again, remember, those games, those games are played simultaneous on Tuesday. Carly? And I would agree. I, I, and, and I also think, uh, to point out, this, is, this result's going to give Portugal confidence you know this is not going to be a walk in the park this next game for the u.s to beat portugal and they're going to be feisty they're going to be physical um they're going to come out aggressive they're going to be hard to break down but you heard what trinity rodman said that lindsey haran getting lindsey haran pissed off and that energy and that dog in her just just translated to the rest of the team so they need to come out with that fire well, you can't count on that for Portugal doing the same favor as uh, Van der Dong did. And we say the next match is always the hardest, and it couldn't be any more true. The Dutch only managed to score once against Portugal. It's going to be a tough task for the U.S. as well. And more Women's World Cup action a little bit later today. Portugal and Vietnam meeting those two debutantes, 3 a.m. Eastern over on FS1. Then your co-host, Australia. They'll look to secure a knockout stage berth by beating Nigeria. Only two nations have already confirmed a spot in the knockout stage. The U.S. and the Dutch will not get that spot, today at least. We'll have to find out on Tuesday if the U.S. can move on, and if so, as group winner or group runner-up. Coverage of our next match begins in about three and a half hours. We'll see you later on FS1.